Hello everyone, let's imagine we are working in a super cool company developing this My Cool web application. And how does it work? In this scenario, we have a Raspberry Pi 3 uh, running Python and our web application uh, is served by the device and then we can just access it from basically anywhere. And for this, let me show you this is the IP address I copied before and well it seems it is not working um, let me try to reload it mm. oh, doesn't work hmm this means something maybe is not well configured or the device is not running but how can I know that but then I remember Mender has a new add-on for troubleshooting, so we are going to take advantage of it. First of all, we need to log in into the Mender web portal. And I have already my credentials here. Log in. Then I can go to devices and I will look for our Raspberry Pi 3 that is here. And then I can go down to the troubleshoot section and launch a new remote terminal session. Okay, here we are. First of all, why our web page is not working? Maybe I can check the IP address. If config, it is connected by cable and the IP address is seems to be okay um, then let's check for the service so for this I can just run system CTL status and my hello world pi server service and it seems it failed but why let's see the definition of the service itself Okay, everything seems to be okay. And let's see the source code of our server. And it looks nice. Well, I'm just realizing that I specified here I had to use Python 2, but it seems the server is for Python 3. That's definitely my mistake and I need to fix it and take advantage of this remote terminal I can fix it on on the fly so first of all let me open the service again and let me edit it and let's change this version 2 with version 3 now I need to reload uh, the services so sudo systemctl daemon reload and after that I can try to reload the, to restart the service again sudo systemctl um, restart Hello Pi server service and let me check again if the service is running as expected oh it seems it is running nice so that it does it doesn't mean that if I go here and I reload voila this is our hello world then just imagine I need to show somebody else on the team about this problem so we can then correct it in other devices so for doing that we are going to take advantage of also a new feature on Mender that it's for auditing logs so I can go here on the left panel audit log and I can just click here on view details of the session 
I can just press play and then I can see exactly what commands I run and in the same order and with the same timing. I think this feature will be really helpful for you and to share with other people or to deep dive or troubleshoot in a deeper way what's going on. So here I can see when I try to run the to check the IP address, the status of the service and finally the content of the source code that I checked previously. As a summary, with new Mender add-ons you can troubleshoot what's going on and even you can audit the logs of your troubleshooting. Thanks for watching.